from vanrouge.com. 12 volt installation in my van without a leisure battery. I'm going to drill a hole from the other side to come through here to feed in the 12 volts for my kitchen. Inside now the hole lines up hopefully. I'm going to drill a little pilot hole first. So the hole went through, lined up perfectly and there we are. There's the hole. A very short run for the cable up here into the battery box and I'll get some proper connectors. Here I'm on the inside, I've pulled out the carpet and there's that hole. You can see like it's very obvious if you take your carpet out where I drilled it, there's nothing in the way. An 8mm hole big enough for my 35 amp cable with an inline fuse. There's the cable going through, I have to feed it through a bit further, I've put some heat shrink on the cable, double layer. That's where it's going to go through the bulkhead. <coughs> Um, and that after that I'll put some worth silicone type material to seal it which won't be very much to seal because the hole is almost perfect size for the cable especially with the heat shrink and when we get to the end you find the fuse and the connector to connect it to the positive of the battery the shrink fit sleeve is through the bulkhead I just need to seal it up with some worth gunk I've clipped it on here to where the other cables are clipped and it runs around. I have to find some way of holding the fuse properly. I've taken the fuse out of course because it's not working yet. And there's my connection straight onto the battery. I undid this driver's seat to take it out but with the handbrake wanted to come with it I decided to leave it. I've managed to stick a long rod through by lifting up some of the carpet. I've taped my power cable onto it so I can pull it back through. So we have the red positive coming out from under the carpet. Here we have the Volkswagen ready ground. I'm going to put my ground negative to that. There's the fuse box. Just need to fix it to something. At the moment it's fine and it's all working. I've just got two circuits working. So you move the fuses from the circuits that aren't being used that way the terminals won't be live. My cooker. Yeah we have ignition and my tap working. Great. So leisure battery big decision. I'm going to try a year without leisure battery and see if I run out of battery. I don't think that I will but we'll see. I've saved myself the weight of the battery and all the extra circuits. That's what I'm interested in saving weight.